If you hand an artist a piece of paper and a pencil, the first thing they're going to want to do is draw. And if you hand that same artist an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, you better believe they're going to want to draw as well. Now, rather than step you through Photoshop Sketch, I thought it'd be great to invite in a professional artist. And for that, I'd like to talk to my friend, Brian Yap. So Photoshop Sketch is this amazing drawing and painting app, and I'm going to walk you through a bunch of the features right now. I started this drawing a little earlier. It's a drawing of a Chinese lucky dog. And some of the basic features in Sketch, the Apple Pencil, which you can change the size and opacity of, has a really nice natural feel to it. And of course, the Apple Pencil is pressure sensitive. So you do have the ability to sort of create really heavy, harsh strokes and then let them wisp off by pulling the pencil off, like dropping back on the pressure you're putting on it. And one of the interesting add-ons too with the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil is that you can turn the pencil sideways to create larger texture. Photoshop Sketch is part of the Photoshop family and its drawing model is similar to what you would do in Photoshop on the desktop, which is to say that it's a raster drawing tool. Uh, it draws at the pixel level. Some of the things that you would do in Photoshop Sketch or in Photoshop are more uh, natural media, things like fluid dynamics of watercolor, uh, working over uh, textured media, uh, individual pressure sensitive strokes. There are several other features that are pretty nice. You can actually, if I want a perfect circle for the iris, you have all these basic shapes that you can pull down as guides. So if I tap on the circle, you can see that it gives me a little two finger spot and a guide that I could then use to draw a more geometric shape. There are a variety of different customizable brush presets. So in addition to all of the different ones that come with Sketch, Brian can define his own presets. So this is really neat. In this case, what Brian's done is he's used the Capture CC app to create custom brushes from things that he saw out in the world. And then he's gonna use that brush right here in Photoshop Sketch to do some really neat stuff. So you can see that Brian lays down a template of where he wants to apply that brush. And then using the template, he's drawing his custom brush around it. And simply by scaling the template and changing the brush dynamics and the brush size, he's able to use the same content in a completely different way. So when you do get to a point where you want to export the file, you can send it to Photoshop, and it'll actually open a Photoshop file on your desktop. Thanks, Brian. That was awesome. So remember, this free app doesn't just work on the iPad Pro. It also works on smaller versions of the iPad as well. So I hope that you pull down Photoshop Sketch and enjoy it as much as we do.